Welcome back. Cherbourg Water says it's doing all it can to sort out water issues. Many parts of Gauteng have been without water for weeks on end. Part of the reason for the water stress is because of high consumption during spring. ENCA's Heidi Jokos has more. Joburg Water says it's doing all it can to get water into the taps of residents. A number of areas have been without water for, if not weeks, months on end. Joburg Water says a lot of this has to do with high water demand, which has put pressure on reservoirs. Tell us what it's like to live here. Well, it's hell. Because first of all, we're burning out here. There's no water, there's no electricity. And they look at the, at the fault that we must live in. Pick it up tells us we must clean up here ourselves. Who gives them the right to tell us? When we ask for water, we must go and get by water. For what? The government must come right and give us what we deserve. We won't vote for them, so give us what we want. The water go off. Everything can go off. Mm -hmm. hmm? There's no water to buy the children. Here, every day you must, you must wash. Isn't it? You must wash, huh? But there's no water. Usually, then I take the taxi to Rivoli or Langlaagte. Then I come with the uh, with the thing, the, tr the trucks. Then I'll go with the trucks back, go fetch more water. Then I come back. I'll do the whole places, even hot 86. Then I I'll, I'll go there and give the people water. I mean, it's not fair what is happening. What's even more alarming is over 20% of water is lost in the city due to leaks and pipe bursts. We're sitting currently with about a 24% physical loss. That means that 24% um, of, of what the system input volume is, what we buy, is basically lost through leaks and bursts. The industry norm out there uh, for a utility hour size uh, and vintage is, is roughly about 10%. The MMC for Environment and Infrastructure says he's very worried about the state of the city. He says there is a need for budget to try and sort out the many problems. I'm very much, much worried. In fact, uh, I had a chat with the MMC Finance yesterday that we should embark in a journey to galvanize funds across to fund the backlog within a job of water, uh, infrastructure maintenance plan. Joburg Water has also asked residents to use water sparingly, including shortening shower time. There's a concern that we're over-consuming in Johannesburg, so we can't. Uh, there's a number of kiloliters that we must use. Once we, we reach above, then we become penalized by, by rainwater. So we have reached uh, our own license uh, you know, requirement. But I think it's, it's general attitude that people must change how we do our car wash in our own townships and everywhere. People are living, uh, when you do bath your own, uh, uh, yourself, uh, you know, brushing your own teeth, uh, you must use a cup, not just leave the, <laughs> I'm saying, uh, don't just use the, 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 the tap flowing full time while you are busy brushing, uh, the, the tap is flowing. Joburg Water expects full restoration to affected areas by mid next week. Heidi Jokos in Johannesburg.